Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is Friday. <laughs> it is Friday, March the 13th, 2020. We are already finishing out pretty much this second week in March already. Um, it's been a great week. We've had a lot of influences. Pretty much everything is kind of smoothing out from the full moon. Uh, we've got um, some other aspects going on, which is going to be totally neutral, no retrogrades. And so let's don't forget about our book. I'm going to show it all this week. I've been the journey to the, the journey to the dark goddess. This is our book, how to return to your soul by Jan Meredith. Okay. So this is the book that we are starting in on. Go on and get your book. You can get it from Kindle. Um, your hard copy is a soft copy with a live copy. Whatever way you get your book, go on and get your book. Let's start reading. We got four to six weeks to finish it. Next week on Wednesday, Flowers in the Attic, we will be doing a rechat on the last book so I can make sure that the Zoom got goes through for everybody. Uh, we had a little bit of a hiccup the other week on it. We did have it, but we let's just make sure we... I want to make sure that everybody get an opportunity for this first dry run, and I'm going to do it again. We are planning a retreat for October, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, and that's the first PSAs for right now. Let's get it in. We have got the King of Swords in reverse, the King of Swords in reverse. And we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, or oh, some say Seven of Coins in reverse as well. All right. Always know that I use the right away um, tarot cards for the reading. I don't switch up far as the reading for us. Um, the reason why is that I like you to become familiar with the cards so that if you're reading on your own, you could see it, you could understand it, and you'll become more familiarized if you come into the channel on a daily basis. And you'll be reading for yourself, spiritual uh, spiritualist and magical practitioner. So what is the King of Swords saying? The King of Swords is saying that the agenda, the agenda behind those you have around you, there are some people that are around you, they are not exactly supportive. You know, they're not really, a, some of them are not a supportive cast. Have you really looked at their agenda with your spiritual eyes and your intuition? And how do you fit with them presently? How do you really fit in with them? Have you looked with your spiritual eyes? Have you checked within, given yourself check to understand who these people are currently in your life presently? And is there truly a fit for where you are in your life now as a balance? Um, when we get into the seven of coins in reverse here, um, work on your projects and don't get sidetracked. Keep working on your projects, even though... These are some people that are presently around you. You need to do a self-gut check and intuitive check to see where their agenda lies with you and if they're a good fit. And at the same time, do you, <laughs> as we say, do you. Make sure that you're working on your project. Don't always let other people know because you, you don't know what we're hearing here is exactly what they motives are. So you have to safeguard the things that you're doing, even if it's on your job. Um, these are things that are not for everybody. You can't assume everybody is just really in your corner, you know, as a team player and supporting you. So with the astrological forecast, which is on the blog at HTTP as double cloning, uh, ecliptic spiritualist seven dot com, which is on our website and multiple things are there underneath the North node blog. Um, we have where this, um, Friday, which is today. Um, the moon is in Scorpio, so it anticipates whatever, uh, whatever it it is you've been working on all week um, up until this point. Uh, these two days um, are, you know, pretty much you want to trust your instincts uh, and spend more time observing than doing. Um, this will make the moon in Scorpio very happy. So she will thoroughly enjoy you being an observer and not a participator, you know observation before participation is always the best practice especially when we have an intensified water sign 
that is telling us with the moon to be more observant. But this is a good practice to have as well for ourselves and for teaching children and young adults, teenagers to be ob uh, observation before participation. Very important. A very close friend of mine always used that, that saying and I always listen to it and it's the very true saying for all of us. You know, so it's something that we can incorporate. So in saying that, don't forget to hit that wiggly bell down below. Ding, dong, ding to make sure you're getting the daily fresh tarot card reading that comes to you on a daily basis. Don't forget that we offer intuitive readings that will change your life. Stop sitting on the sideline. We talked about early in the week about breaking cycles and getting off. Uh, we have in transformation and getting off of those eight so that we can hear about our our future and our present and how to navigate through it properly. Don't forget that we offer spell work that would change your life in multiple areas. We offer energy healing, um, energy healing for Reiki for all aspects of your life, diagnostic consultations, medical, metaphysical supplies on our website, and much, much more. And so we're here for total inspiration, health, spiritual guidance, um, and guiding your um, spiritual practice along with your magical practice as a magical practitioner. All right, so I'm saying that. I love you for watching today. Have a wonderful Friday. Don't forget that you are a spiritual being living in a human experience. So take advantage of that so that you are growing and going through 2020 because we are skedaddling already with this new decade. I love you for watching today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. A follow on Instagram, Twitter, here on YouTube, on Facebook. Go to our Facebook page, click a like, make sure that you have our business page up. Uh, it's very important. So I will see you next time. Have a great Friday. Bye-bye.